Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another match of RBT3's sixth round of the Swiss stage. I am a Rails Barlow Tournament Director and also one of your two casters for this evening. We are bringing you a game between Team Status Quo and Team Two and Pink. Co-casting with me tonight for this match here on Dark Carnival is the one and only World of Noise. How are you doing tonight, Juan? Oh, I'm good. Sorry, whoops. Forgot to push my push talk. Woo! That's all right. I think that's good. Good to hear. So yeah, we're we're. I, I'm expecting a pretty good game between these two teams. I believe both of them are two and three at this point, and it's on Dark Carnival, so it's a map that I think a lot of people have a lot of experience with. And two and three and one and four. Okay. So that being said, though, they've persevered through the tournament to this final round of the Swiss stages here. One, I think it's really important that a lot of the newer players get that kind of experience. For sure should definitely be trying to gain that experience. So, with that being said, XY is going to take it back, and he is going to take us live, so we will see exactly what these two teams can do. We have Status Quo on the Survivor and Team Tune to Pink on the Special Infected. Before they get in range for this first hit, we will do a quick roster rundown. So, for Team Status Quo on the Survivor, we have Sir Kuzum, Horizon, Ashra, Mali, and Firestar. And who do we have for Team Two in the Pink one? Dot, not bright, Vixen, and Amy. That was right. easy. <laughs> we have that boomer getting popped, that hunter getting shut down, and looks like the spitter is going to be relatively alone. Not going to get a whole lot of anything. And I don't usually see a whole lot of damage coming out in that hit there, Juan. It's usually not a whole lot of opportunity for the SI to get a lot of good spawns. No, really, if you get hit there, that's probably not good. <laughs> Just because it's, it's so tough to get a spawner and get a hit. Yeah, a good one, anyway. Yeah, I mean, and now they have a better opportunity to do damage on this witch, which we do see, see sitting right here. It's going to be a Charger, Boomer, a Jockey, and a Hunter. Boomer spawning up, going and getting a single boom. Survivors, I think, are going to try to wait out the horde here, so... I don't know, they might... Actually, actually they're trying to pull the witch instead. Charger coming from the back right there, trying to go in for a Charger Rochelle, going to get a chest bump instead. Hunter going in, getting M2 to end shut down. This witch is going for someone, I actually have no idea who she's going for. She seems to be going for the Jockey, in fact. Maybe not Coach, okay. And they barely get that crown there, Juan. That could have been disastrous had that landed. Yeah, I, I, I feel like the infected team could have been more patient with that. Like, uh, the charger and... With the, uh, it was too close and ended up chest bumping. Despite the fact that that was supposed to have been fixed. Still have to play like it's not. Yeah, I actually see that happening more often than I would like to admit due to the fact the fixer was moved because it didn't work. Yeah, it's one of those things where there have been a lot of things for the lifetime of this game that have been claimed to be fixed, but then there are just still things that go on that completely confuse me. Like that, plus the, the witch seems even glitchier nowadays, to be honest, like where it just seems to go for different. But that also has to do with higher tick rate. But there are so many things about this game that are not like random, but still so broken, and it's been out for six years, and it makes no sense to me. Yeah, no, coming from Xbox, you, I've seen the <laughs> deterioration of servers on, on this game, so... Reloading. It's getting up there, this game. It that's is. a really good boom. Three boom out. It's too bad it was a 2-2, two -two, but that's gonna slow the survivors down a little bit, so that maybe they can get another hit at a better kind of choke area. Well, that's a good choke, but they had not good spawns for that choke. So hopefully they have good spawns at the next choke. Exactly, and I think that tank's not going to be until 62%, so we are seeing some great preservation of health right here from Team Stats close so far. As I say that, we have a charge going in, getting Whoa. a tri-charge. I'm sorry, I completely must have jinxed that. We have the jockey going in as well, Hunter going in, trying to land. Boomer does get popped, nice two-cap landing, so that right there, complete reversal of what we saw for the first two hits there, one Very nice coordinated SI attack, everything landing. Yeah, that's what Fever... I think it was Fever would have called it double-double cap. <laughs> Reloading! Every Just double, because so. of the segmented two yeah. double cap. Yep. Man, I have not heard that terminology in a while. See, since I wasn't actually around in the community when Fever was casting, I just watched him a whole lot. I loved the way he casted due to the fact that it was like it was still professional, but it could still have that air of I don't know, just fun that he had with the game in that kind of sense. I only got to talk to him a couple of times, but I still respected him as an admin slash caster figure. But if anybody in the chat actually knows who Fever is at this point, I would be kind of surprised, except that they've been around the community for that long, due to the fact that it seems as though there's been a lot of turnover of people in the community besides that, but he exposed mm -hmm. peace, yeah. x is correct. So we have a Boomer Charter Spitter and a Smoker here, so 2-2, and the survivors are taking it rather slowly here. Boomer going in, 
managing not to land, and I think the survivors are going to try to back off and try to pick that boomer, but that's going to definitely hinder this attack here, one. Yeah, impatience really bites you when you're um, infected. Survivor's baiting quite a bit, and I can understand that impatience, because at some point you're just like, well, they should be coming now. But of course there's the tank, so the survivors are going to take it slow. So... Indeed they are. Oh! oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Should we take well, this to a war room or not even bother? I don't know if we should even bother. Maybe. I don't think X by Headworm set up. I don't know. But that's a, that horde is going to be nasty. Yeah. If I were a tank, I would commit right away. I wouldn't. Yep. I would just go in. Try not to let them get to where they're going. Oh, this car! Oh, wow, that was close. I thought that wow. was going to be something big. This car, that one bounced off the skybox. I think you're absolutely right. I think that tank should just keep following it's her way in, but she's having trouble with that hittable right now. Yeah. She should definitely keep going. Go in, tank. <laughs> Send some telepathy to brightness there. Yeah. Yeah. So, basically, they have the equivalent of a quad boom with a tri-cap right now, and I think the tank is going to mosey its way down, and still trying to get the car in, though. The horde they're, they're, is... They're losing the horde. Yeah. That is not... Oh, oh my god! Oh, okay. Go okay, good. well, that's okay, gonna go down. To... Yeah, there we go. Let's see what the tank does after that. Trying to get the kill, I think, to secure the kill on Ash, and we actually had a crash during the middle, but the tank's just gonna keep going, getting the kill! Survivors are now attempting to spread out as well. The support is stopped. Now the tank support is getting handled right there. Nice punch going out under Rochelle. And the tank should be able to decommit off that already with a kill one. That was a nice ability by that SI team to capitalize on that horde, as you mentioned. Yeah, she still is first pass and quite a bit HP. Still 50% HP. She should be able to work her way back towards the middle here. Now they're going to pause because the tank got to a spot. But yeah. Exactly as you said there, they ate that hit as they were on the run back. I think it was like a double or a tri charge with a smoke down into the car, and that's what triggered all of this to happen. And obviously, we've seen just a lot of damage go out since the survivor team crossed that billboard, ate the double double cap as you mentioned, and then got hit by that hit on the run back, and then with the kill on the tank. So, mm -hmm. that's a good no, yeah. position. So, definitely, I think the tank uh, could have if committed earlier and directly then um it would have been a wipe but um it still saved it and, and got that kill which is important because you want to capitalize on that double double cap and smoke into the car right yeah and i think they're trying to figure out yeah what's if... going on I'm not entirely sure. They said they're going to unpause and then see if Doc can reconnect. That's going to be really unfortunate if... Uh, cause I guess I guess the team's just going to have an armistice for a second and they're not going to shoot the tank. Now they are going to shoot the tank a little bit. That Sorry. is interesting. So now we have this Mexican Sorry. standoff going here where the tank's going to keep sight, but the survivors are bleeding, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Let's see if Doc can actually rejoin. We've had some interesting issues so far tonight, Juan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, my spec speed is super slow. Not sure why, and the game likes to kick me for spectating. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure for that. She needs a minute to reconnect, so I guess that's just gonna be a. <laughs> this is this is interesting. They won't know if they should pause or not, but I mean, once the is already dead, the blades go, the the bleed is going out, and then yeah. someone else can't rejoin. Huh. Yeah, no, the eleven is the right number, unless I just completely can't do math. It's eight plus three, so. You're dead, guys, to face it. <laughs> oh, gosh. You think Promod is... You think Promod is borked? So then they're saying to stop complaining about Bleak because they're already dead. Oh, Juan, this is going in the wrong direction. Oh. Admins, you... I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna Why would here. they restart, though? It, that would be entirely up to the infected team, would it not? Because it's their problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think... Are they serious? I I have absolutely no clue, but... Yay, we're going live, so... That's cool. Uh... Oh, and they're gonna shoot the tank. Why... Oh, I'm God. Not... <laughs> I'm not sure why we're so... I know they were having some fun with it, but they probably should not have positioned themselves to separate. Yeah, I mean, 
at that point they started firing on the tank, so that's fair game. Tank is, uh, if, it, if this tank gets killed, this is going to be really, really interesting to see how this plays out. And then I'm probably going to have to make some kind of administrative decision, but hopefully, t tank might be kill, actually, I agree. Yeah, tank, tank is kill. Tank is about mm -hmm. to be kill. So, I mean, but the right thing away, is, the, tank. Yeah, the, the, the infected team said for them to ready up because they were already dead, so this is technically, they, they were just obliging by what the infected team, I, I, that's at least how I would see it, one. I don't know. The yeah. infected team was like, ready up. Huh. I don't know. This this is why I'm not admin <laughs> to the tournaments. <laughs> yeah, this I've been is... to be honest, I've retired at my Reloading. hung up my admin hat and it's been a it's been really fun. Good times. I, I understand and you know, like just we're gonna see the fit go in. Charge is gonna land for a quick second. Hunter's also gonna land. Ten out of thirty, that's a good way to have it. But I yeah, I don't know, there seems to be a little bit of a technical difficulty going on here, but again, I'm not gonna, like, they, basically the infected team's saying the survivors are dead, just basically ready up then. Okay, this is what's gonna happen here when you have one player down. And right. I, that's pretty much it. There we go, okay, Dot has now also rejoined the Yay, server, so... Dot. Now that it's a 4v4, we can actually see what's going on here. This tank is gonna go AI, that means there's gonna be no spitter, and Team Stats 4 are pushing this entire map like it is their job. They are gonna drop down into these common right here, clearing them out. Hit is coming in, however. Charger from the front, Jockey from the back. Last one coming into queue. It's gonna be a boomer, so they don't quite have that because the tank's actually still on second path tank hasn't gone ai yet the jockey's no. gonna die and this is actually really really fortunate now for status quo one because they've been able to take the entire map literally with like yeah. three si i'm not really quite sure what's happened <laughs> <laughs> it was it looked like a definite wipe i really thought that was gonna be a wipe and then i then i thought you know i mean it probably would have been had they just said Okay, don't ready up. Like they, they wouldn't have said just ready up because we were already dead. I mean, the, the infected team basically asked for this, and we do have a pull going out. Charge, getting a nice charge, but that is going to be a double cap going out. I thought it was going to get cleared, and that's going to be a lot of the bonus getting hit right now due to the fact that those three SI were able to work their way in. Not quite the try cap now. Speaking of other cappers, this hunter's going in, getting M2, jockey going in, getting M2 as well. Horizon just double M2ing the living hell out of that infected team, but they have no bonus left to speak of. But again, it's better than wiping it where they were at. Yeah, no, definitely. They were able to make up some ground, and that's exactly the call I would have made. Run. <laughs> Run! Yeah, right, just kind of go. Go. And... Right, it's but... telling me to say sorry. <laughs> to, it, to be fair, like, to be perfectly honest, I've played this game long enough that, like, uh, I can confidently tell you that first map never matters. Ever. You can win first map by a landslide and still lose. Yeah. It's totally possible getting map one that that is a thing i mean but i think Juan is completely correct when she says that even though if you have like a multi hundred point deficit do not let that discourage you from map one due to the fact that there is and i mean it's not that it's a bad thing to have that lead but at the same point in time i think some teams maybe take their foot off the gas a little bit going into the later right. chapters and then they get like turned around on yeah they get discouraged and you shouldn't be discouraged after map one it's you know Sorry, you dead bros, and I mean, that's very rude. I agree. That is that is not quite friendly banter, but at the same point in time, I mean, it's it's it is not. I agree. Sir Kuzum said it is not a shit talking game, and that is somewhat true. I don't know. I don't know. People are gonna shit talk. I personally don't shit talk, but some people are gonna shit talk. Can't really like. I don't know. Unless you want to. <laughs> uh, ding him for for sportsmanship. There's really not. I don't know. <laughs> Just a reading this fish can says. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I mean, they're having fun with it. They're playing in the tournament. It's one of those things where, like, again, this game has no implication on the playoff stage. But at the same point in time, it's just fun to play with your friends. It's fun to play in a tournament to get better. And that's exactly what both teams are doing. So I don't really see a problem with it as long as it's not impacting the flow of the game. And since they said, you know, as they were going through that, they basically gave some three points to the other team. I don't really have a huge issue with it at the moment. So with that being said, Team 2 and the Pink are on the special, or on the Survivor, I should say. And Team Stats are on the special infected. Boomer, Spitter, Hunter, Jockey. What's going to happen on this first hit here, Juan? Uh, it's probably not going to go well. Is it 2-2? And I... Hold on. What's the... Doesn't look strong. No, it's not. There's a jockey and a hunter. The two. I'm surprised it just doesn't get any. 
<laughs> that works a little bit. bit. Yeah, that Hunter landed. And that's, but actually landed too, so that's almost 40 damage off that first hit. Actually, it's going to be over 40 damage. That's, that, as you just said, like we, we talked about before, where that's not a really high damage potential area, and I would be extremely happy with that damage from the SI team. Yeah, me too. Hey, watch it. Watch it. Reloading. Mathematician rails, yeah. Uh, don't worry, I've, I've, I've made so many errors Let's in terms of math away. and other things in life that it's just to the point where if I get something right, I'm happy with it. So at this point, it's like I, I, I got to around 40-ish damage. But that being said, Witch is up with another hit. It's going to be a Spitter, Hunter, a Jockey, and a Charger. And it looks as though they're going to hit on the Witch here one. Now, you mentioned that the SI team went in a little bit too fast before. What do you think they should do here? Well, I, like, wait for the witch to get in before you send in your spawn. Like, I mean, I understand, like, the smoker want to pull it, but you you want to time your, your hit with the witch so that she's part of it and not coming in slightly before or slightly after. That was exactly what they just did, too, because that witch got aggro. The jockey went in, and that witch is actually still clawing at Amy's face right there. Not quite a death. That hunter went in and got that intercept. Charger is going to be all alone going back in, but that's a full in cap, obviously, before the tank, and they did exactly as you said there, Juan. They timed it perfectly. Exactly. Thanks. Look out! So now this tank has a couple options here. He could pro he could probably play something similar where he tries to get the hittable into play and then send in a commit tank. But with a survivor bleeding like this, I would almost be inclined to play a rock tank at this point due to the fact that you have the ability to just kind of sit there and LOS them as much as you can from the truck or something similar. But before that even happens, we do have another coming in. It's going to be a hunter, jockey, boomer, and spitter. So another 2-2 two -two coming in here, as a matter of fact. And it looks as though the survivors are going to face that hit right here. Boomer dropping his way in. Getting a nice try, boom. Hunter landing on the green survivor as well. And Juan, that's great damage again for a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, no, that is really good damage for a 2-2. Two -two. Two twos can be really deadly, but it's, yeah, <laughs> Boomer spitter. Nice. Always the strongest of combinations, but when it works, it works really well. Does and I mean in that situation they had to deal with the SI coming in from at the top of them and that's how they were able to get those steps and actually Amy jumps off the side of the billboard and takes a little bit of fall damage there so that's unfortunate. She's bleeding for... though so yeah. at least it wasn't their bonus that fell. <laughs> exactly it wasn't perm but still at that same point in time she's gonna have to commit a set of pills and now we're gonna see if Team Two and the Pink can do a little bit of a better job mitigating the damage on this hit that they have to deal with right here which is gonna be a jockey boomer charger and a spitter so another two two but this is a strong two two one because they have that charge spit. Yeah, they're clearing out the horde, hoping to bait out the hit, but I'm pretty confident that the infected are going to wait for the tank. Or maybe not the boomer. That was a good play, though, because the boomer got a single, then they popped without setting off the alarm car, which was the bigger problem, I believe. 14 stats. Well, rest of the hits coming in. Charger getting a nice charge right there with a spit going down on top of that, as a matter of fact. Yeah. And now, that's going to definitely make something out of that, because that is one, two no, survivors. Yeah. yeah. They're not in good shape, two in the pink. They need to, well, basically, if I felt confident in my whole team being able to do it, I'd say run, push. Yeah. It's but to that they're point. not fast. They're, there's so much horde. The spawns are up. The alarm's gone up. <laughs> this is bad news for team two in the pink because that pull right there was a nice capitalization by that smoker. We have the tank rolling in right here. Boomer Hunter for the support. Boomer missing right there. We do have a hunter lane. Tank is up in the hands of Sir Kuzum for team status quo. He's going to be playing with his hittable again here, and I don't know about that one. If I were him, I'd be getting a little bit closer without the hittable. I think he's going to do just that now. Yeah. Maybe not. He's going to send the hittable up on the roof, and he gets a oh beautiful double car hit. Oh my goodness. Well, he didn't have to listen to anything I just said, because he went back there and got that insane two that car hit. That was absolutely crazy. And yeah, the car is x Lux cars. And now we're going to have this hit coming in from the back. Charger trying to delay this pickup. Going and getting the charge on the Amy. <laughs> Double cap landing one. It's complete pandemonium and that's a wipe. That is a wipe. Wow. That was fantastic as I play. That was. I can't believe they're up. They're still up. <laughs> So, okay, Rochelle got hit across, right, and she had like one HP when she landed, and then Amy was able to pop pills and then keep rushing, so it's going to be a battle of the distance points, but I think we're going to see Team Stats club by like 150 or something. No, yeah, Tank's got the cutoff. It's not, they're not getting any more distance. This is it, but considering how much more distance the three made, they didn't actually get that many more points than two in the pink, so... I still think anything could happen, you know? First map is always kind of like, it's either one of the hardest or one of the fastest kind of maps, you know? It usually doesn't matter. Going back to my point before, so I don't know. We'll see what happens.
I don't think we can tell anything. Like the, I don't think we can tell the outcome of this game just by the first map. Yeah, to me, it seemed like the teams were relatively balanced. Obviously, and with only like a hundred and what forty-four points separating the two, no, one hundred fifty-four points, I should say. And like at that same point in time, both the SI teams did a really, really good amount of work. And I think it's going to come down to now, obviously. Since the first map is so, I don't want to say inconsequential because it's basically just the first round as we mentioned before, but in this case it really is due to the fact that it's that small score differential, plus there is so much that can happen on map 2, map 3, and 4 of Dark Carnival in particular. So. I don't know, in my experience everybody always says that map 4 is a swing map here, but I've actually seen the swing happen on any one of those maps, and that is... What is that, x -Fi? In next five attempts to respect it, you will be automatically kicked from the server. Okay, that's good. That's great. But besides those technical difficulties, I think we're in for a pretty solid matchup here. And the tank's at 58% here, Juan. So is that one that they're going to have to push forward, or can they come out of the alley on that? 58. That's probably, yeah, that's probably going to be around the alley area. um, Or the top. Because I know the top's around 60. That's almost 60, so. It's going to be around there. It's going to be a messy tank, I feel like. I don't know if they're going to be able to get back. I don't know if they're... They might have to fight it up top. Yeah. This is one of those ugly... Ki it's a fun tank, though. That's oh, yeah. It's fun from the SI side in the case for the survivors. <laughs> you're going to be making a bunch of, like, a bunch of... Wait, of the rune... I have no idea what that means. But a bunch of, like, plays and having to, like, basically run around and then try to find a spot to fight it. And the SI can capitalize on that very, very effectively, so... The psychology thing for him to have Ellis. Okay, I can understand that. To have a favorite survivor, it helps your gameplay. But I think it's also. I remember also... when people had the. There was like that rumor that different characters had different like abilities, like Coach ran slower and stuff, but shit's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it is true that Rochelle has a smaller hitbox, though, right? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't really think so. I think they're all pretty. She does, but does it impact anything? I I mean, it's a game of, in this game where it's such, you know, it comes down to lag compensation, etc. It could actually have a little bit of an impact, but friendly fire it does. Okay, so x by thinks that she does. Uh, they're all around the same height. They're not really... I got these two. That's the show hitboxes. Thank you for that, x by So we have 108 Jockey of Boomer and Spitter, so another 2-2 two -two here. We do have stats quote to fame, their 150 point lead on the survivor side first. Hunter getting beautifully taken out of the air right there. Jockey getting shut down, and that was a beautiful play by Firestar right there, Juan. Going out and just one-manning that entire hit, pretty much. No, yeah, that's, again, another first attack that doesn't usually hit very much. Reloading. Boomer decided to save Charger Jockey and another spawn coming into queue here. Depending on how they sack, they actually make another 2-2, but indeed they do not. It's going to be a 3-1 with that Boomer. Though, I'm pretty sure we're going to see them try to launch the hit as the Spires are pushing him through this cotton candy slash picnic table area up here. And this is actually one where I've seen a lot of good hits happen. I believe my team got tri in our match that we played earlier today at this area due to the fact that we got stumbled. Boomer going in, though. Survivor's making the right decision to back up, getting the pop. Jockey going in, going for Alice. Not even the land. Charger is there to get a couple punches as well. Nice cover by that Hunter. That was a very, very very good amount of capitalization coming from our SI team there, wanting to get that kind of separation plus the intercepts. Yeah, 50 damage onto Ellis. This brings back Judging damage. on how much damage they take to, gang, like, to get to the alley here too, some of these tanks that we see on Dark Carnival Map 2 are not necessarily like extremely scary from a survivor side, but this is one, as we mentioned before, where it definitely can be. So if they can manage to just not take any more damage at this point, they have an okay chance of surviving it with all that being said. And that Boomer decided to go, and now I think the rest of the hit is going to as well. Greg, you see a nice double tap oh, wow. right there. <laughs> the Charger almost hit the smoke charger, but that didn't actually happen. I love how the Charger went right by everybody else and got Rochelle in the back. Yeah. That was that that was pretty I don't know, it's not it's not a term of where we call it luck, it would just be, you know, advantageous charging in that sense of where you're trying to be politically correct. Hunter going to imagine get a beautiful oh. intercept on the Nick as he drew the witch, and that's gonna be a full down right there, Juan. Again, great oh, SI play coming out. Yeah, really good hunt by Vixen. That was that was an MVP move right there by a Vixen. That was really, the survivors. Really good. The survivors were not expecting it. They thought the hit was down. Nobody's up. I'm going to take care of this witch. Well, they're all down. Reloading. 
fix it with that clutch. Hunt. Really, I think they I, I, I think they were gonna send another hit in right there due to the fact they don't have to worry about the ladder choke yet. Charter getting a couple Ooh. punches in there and the spit know. also going down. I don't know if I would have committed the charter in the spit there. Because I feel like that could be come into really handy right about soon. Right. They're currently at forty nine percent. Tanks at fifty eight. Reloading. Uh, I would have liked to keep the charger in the spit to try and keep them separated, perhaps, down the hallway. Okay, so uh, it's gonna spawn like... Would... It's gonna spawn like here, I'm pretty sure. And I think you're actually... I think you're absolutely right on that, because if they had that charger here, they would be able to maybe get some kind of multi-charge, but they do have a boomer spitter. Reloading. Yeah, they have a boomer spitter, so... Oh, there's the charger. the charger. Perfect. So, can the charger get... Oh no. my gosh. No, that charger was but Tank is able to commit and to capitalize on that. That's good. Oh, that's not good. That was that, not good. That is so unfortunate because that, you know what? I think that was a bot smoker that did that too, where the Tank would have been able to get the end cap on Ellis in the alley. That is so fortunate for a team no, stats No, yeah, I I would have been super pissed at nobody if I were that Tank. I have been like, who the fuck did that? AI? Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry exactly. About like, that is so unfortunate, because this spit block happened, the tank had the intercept, but now the survivors are going to be able to work their way back out, and they're going all the way back while they want to AI this tank. That looks, that looks like what they're doing to me, at least, because they know the tank is low, and they're going to keep moving back to that they starting area. Low. Yeah, okay. It's a matter of necessity. I would commit. She's, oh, well, she's almost second pass, and it's not worth it. Oh, okay. Oh. Still first pass. Yeah, I, I, I would get up there. I would not. Oh, that's a good, some good tanking by Dodge. Yeah. Really good yeah. tank. Doing a really good job adjusting what the survivors did right there. Another rock going and landing onto Syracuse. Mm -hmm. And she, like, I thought the survivors were going to try to go all the way back there instead of getting the ammo because usually something like this could actually happen. But again, the tank is doing exactly what she needs to do to capitalize on that. So it's been great SI play after that rotation here. And this is not looking good for the survivors now, Juan. They're going to have two perma slow. Yeah, no. Grizz likes to say that if there's two bleeding in tank, then that's not good for the survivors. And I, I think that's a pretty good rule of thumb. Because you can just bleed them out. They have no pills. They're gonna... She's still first path, you know? Oh, that boomer. Wow, that, I thought that was gonna be more than a single boom, but it did go in. And the charter does get level Ooh, nice tank. Luck. Tank's on the ground. And for some reason, I quest at zero. I'm not sure what that was for, but I think he's shouting out to zero shadows, our other friendly tournament administrator. Besides that, we have that rock going in and missing again. But I think you're absolutely right here because look at what's happening to the survivors' health as this tank stays up. There are two still bleeding out. Now we actually have a jockey going out. That's gonna be a down in Syracuse, I think, and that's gonna put him black and white. Yeah. Not only are they like losing health just by standing here, they're losing uh, ammo. So soon they're gonna have no health and no ammo. They have to do something. They can't. They can't sit here. She's still first path. Yeah. Keep sliding those rocks. The last one was a rage rock, but now she's gonna be able to back up to the train right here. And Dot's gonna throw this rock. Almost managing to land it on Ellis, but again, now we're gonna have Syracuse in black and white. And what do you do here, Juan? Do you go far at this point? Because there's like, it's it's a really dire situation. Oh, uh, see, yeah. <laughs> I would. I, everybody should be LOSing. That there's been far too much sight being given to the tank so i don't know what they because going forward is not a good idea going backwards is not a good idea <laughs> they are damn if they do damn if they don't nice skeet going out here rock going imagine land again and this tank is still on first pass one she's still at 2400 hp yeah Co coach is the only one with uh who's fast these rocks yeah. oh my gosh She's the rock queen. She is doing absolute work right here. Another one almost landing onto Rochelle. And now the smoker's gonna go in from the back. The survivors had decided to commit forward here. Tank is coming in. Actually, the dumpster right there as well. Going in. In cap going out onto Ellis. We're gonna see a charge missing with that smoker landing in the back. But this is absolute pandemonium for the survivors right here. Boomer's gonna get a kill. Only one left with any kind of health is Ash. He is gonna push up the ladder here. But he's actually common locked at the moment. So, Juan, this is gonna be a, a beautiful wipe by two in the tank. Mm-hmm. 
That should be it. Oh my gosh. This what? First pass. One, she's still getting rocks. What is that? She has 400 health. No, yeah, I can see why. Because if she goes up. Oh my god, that chart. What a nice chart. That was ridiculous. Like, the ability for the SI just to adapt to what the infected did. Yeah, I'm, I'm completely ignoring the DM at this point. I'm just not. I'm just pretending it doesn't exist. And the. I don't know. I feel like the survivors, like you mentioned, they didn't seem to LOS a whole lot. No, they gave that tank way too much sight. Because, yes, she was getting a lot of rocks. But the times when she wasn't getting rocks, Never she was getting sight. And tons of it. Like, I, she was just standing there with 70, 75% LOS on first pass. So that in, indicates to me that the survivors were not paying enough attention to... The, the site they were giving the tank. I mean, the chip they were getting was okay after the initial, like, mm -hmm. when they had to run back, but, like, after that, all the chip they did, they didn't even have distance to these, so then anything past what they got the, after the tank went down the alley was not worth it, as we just mentioned, because the she tank was that stable, perfectly. yeah. Yeah, she did. She really did. Like, there, the, she could not have played that tank any better, and, but I think the survivors could have played their part better mm -hmm. but they were doing really good just the bleed and the the ammo and the sight you know right they were good so, at shedding yeah i was gonna say this is an opportunity for two of the pink to do a whole lot of work but they are getting hit right here double boom going out jockey already got shut down that's gonna be a pound spit so another nice amount of damage coming out off that two tube as you were saying one like the survivors yeah. are doing an okay job transitioning but but this team is having is taking a lot more damage along the way. They're playing like hey, I'm um sorry, uh team Where's that squad? Yeah, it's squad, but it's supposed to be status quo. Oh, status quo. Okay, sorry. Team status quo. They're they're not taking any damage or much well, cuz they did take a lot of damage here, but um they were shutting more attacks down. It's just once they get to tank, I don't know. Bad things start to happen. Nice pop on that boomer though. And now we have a charger going and missing. Actually, playing the charge. Rochelle scraped into the charger. Hunter is also going to be getting a couple claws, getting a repound. As a matter of fact, after that jockey gets cleared, I think you nailed it on the head though, because now we've got the situation where two in the pink are taking that kind of damage. But in order to play it better, what do you think they have to do there? Do they think the carousel? Do you think is the best place to LOS that or what? Uh, well. Basically, I would take plenty of Uzis because mm -hmm. shotguns are not going to really help you there. All, all, yeah, all of these tanks are wide open, no matter really where you take it, except for, I guess, I'm not a zombie, but that's man. one boom zombies. coming out. Spitter is fun, but more like a sack, even though the witch is up here. No, oh, Jockey went too. I think, yeah, the smoker is saving for the witch. Yeah, I think they might still be able to make a play on it. I think Rochelle thinks the spawns are down. Smoker's gonna go up, getting the pull right there. And now Rochelle is gonna pull the bunch after the smoker got clear. Going in, gets a beautiful draw crown. Charger coming in, blindsided Nick <laughs> from the back. <laughs> I saw that coming yeah. from a mile away. But yeah. hey, that's a great take on that witch. And Hunter landing for a little bit of damage, and then they're gonna save the boomer here one because they can trap them in the alley on the SI side. Mm -hmm. What, XI? What did you do? Okay, he figured something out apparently. Spit's going down! Boomer's going down as well, but the survivors just run out of the spit. Tank is up in the hands of Astro Molly for Team Stats. Quote, and he's actually deciding to go in here one. I don't know how this is gonna work for him. Yeah, I would not have been in right. That's a lot of chip. That's a lot of chip, and he's gonna have to keep pushing in, but he's already down to 2k HP, oh and the God. survivors just lit him up through that entire alleyway and then the ground afterwards. And I think the tank wanted to do something similar to what Dot tried to do, right? But then didn't do the same thing. Like, Dot got out when she had 4k HP and then played Rock. He only has 1800. Yeah, see, and they got the three Uzis, so they're able to manage all the horde and the tank and. Oh my god, that tank has got nothing left. He's like a third of his HP. And he did- all he did was walk up to them. So... 
he needs some serious help with the second pass now. Booker got a pull. Rock going in, almost landing. Boomer's gonna get a single boom out onto Rochelle. But again, as you mentioned, he's on second pass. 80% right here. Throwing a They need to LOS. That's what I would do. Yeah. LOS, LOS. Right, and that's we, all they we can knew, do. They know he's torn up. They know he's torn up. There's no no use giving this this dead tank sight. Oh, he's, he's AI. Yeah, that's really all that tank is gonna get. I mean, when he committed on that initial like push there, he also had no SI support up, so it was just off the boom, and that's gonna be a very unfortunate from the SI side, of course, shutdown of that tank. And now they actually might even be able to get close to pushing the ladder choke before all four spawns are up. No, yeah, I felt like the tank did not communicate with his team that he was committing because, or he didn't, he wasn't aware that his team was had already committed before he did. He had no support when he committed so that was just a the shotgun. Right. a mistake by the tank and and we've all made those mistakes that comes with experiences knowing when to commit when not knowing when not to commit that's not something anybody can teach us you have to unfortunately learn the hard way yeah, and I mean, they still have a chance to do a lot of damage here because we have a, a jockey going out, Charger going in as well. The survivors push up the top. The Charger is not going to be able to get the charge off. However, that was a good amount of spit damage going down a little bit of recuperation there from what happened with that tank. Yeah, but, but see, with the, the Charger, you got to kind of go with what... I mean, there's no general rule. Oh, you, you have to charge them off. Oh, you, when you get a boom, you commit with tank. You, you know, you have to see it out. Like maybe seeing that that charger, I would have I would have charged into the corner and with the spit damage. You know what I mean? Like that tank, he should have gone get gotten above them and and gotten sight. You know, I would have where uh, Dot ended up. Other hit going in right here. Nice level going out. Jockey does get a okay amount of damage onto one of the survivors right there. They still have two pills, one person with bonus, and I do believe they're actually going to be able to take somewhat of the lead on this chapter. I say somewhat due to the fact there's still a lot of damage potential left in the map, but they've done a pretty good job, besides obviously a, the a ladder choke and a little bit on that tank, of not taking a whole lot of damage from these SI hits. And honestly, they could be making it to the safe room sometime soon, and I think we have a crash or a pause of some kind. This coach was not moving. So, yeah. See, this is this is the map the games are won or lost on. Is the second map, not that I well, two in the pink has three hundred and thirty HP. Assuming they can maintain that, that's pretty decent for this map. But yeah, this is the map where you don't want to die early and let your team get tons of health bonus on. I find this is the hard map to come back on. So, status quo really wants to get a good hit. They have a boomer spitter, and that's really good for this choke here. That's what I think they should do. Let's try and hopefully get a charter. And try and get that health bonus on Coach. Or Ellis. Or Shell. <laughs> mostly Coach. Yeah, mostly Coach. If they can get Coach down, then that would really, really help their case out, because that would probably half the bonus. Yeah, and, and then they... Cause yeah, they're only gonna get a couple more, a couple hundred more points in in distance, so they won't be up that much if they make it with low bonus. So. I mean, obviously, yeah, it's this still is a the really map. close game. Right. Yeah, that's what I mean. And this is a map where you can say, yeah, a lot of the wins or losses come from this map. But again, things can happen on map three. Things can happen on map four. Because map it's four true. is. Like... I don't think I don't think map two is gonna determine this game. I think this this one really determines a lot of a lot of left game, dark carnival game. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We have, we have this interesting banner between the teams, and then wireless internet or not. And yes, indeed, Amy apologizing for being a troll, which is okay. But besides that, it's not a what X Fly. You're screaming about BM and Amy saying she's on her period right now. So okay, that's. I mean, hey, you know. It's all in. It's all in good. It's all in good fun at this point. So, BM, BM, BM. I'm sorry. I and my GF. Well, I think. I think her GF is actually watching this stream, if I'm not mistaken. So, I 
No one cares. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is definitely the good thing that X by here is X by please. Don't don't get too upset over the fact that X by is the king of bad manners. He <laughs> wouldn't know what manners was if it macked him in the face. It's true. I don't think X by has any concept of manners. I don't know, x -Bi might... Uh, I don't know about x -Bi's concept of manners or not, but... All I know is the fact that he gave me the... Uh, you know, he, he's giving me... He's trying to give me reason to make some kind of either gagging decision or some kind of admin decision. I'm just not feeling it right now. Like, put both feet on the table when you... Okay, yeah, that's... That's a bad example, but we have a hit coming in here right now because we are back live. Nice double boom going out. We have a, a jockey jumping around trying to oh. get the coach in the back, and... No such luck so far. Nice M2 going out on that hunter. And that's going to be the entire hit shut down one, so that 2 didn't do a whole lot at all. Yeah, Coach was doing a really good job of maintaining his bonus. He, he wasn't going to get stuck in that, that choke. So. I mean, oh, that's one of the Oh, but everybody areas. else is just... Okay, because Nick walked in it, Michelle <laughs> walked in it, Ellis walked in it. But Coach, Reloading. Coach is doing good, not walking in space. Heads up. Besides that, though, we do have a nice boomer pop going out and a nice pull going out in the back as well, capitalizing on that separation. Jockey going in, trying to go for the bonus in the front. Coach is going to get the M2, though, and shuts that jockey down. So I thought that Rochelle was going to go down there. Now she is actually going to those common. And this is interesting because I think the survivors did kill the event, but there's still a lot of horde to be gone through before it's over. Yeah, no, it feels like when you, when you stop that event, it gets more horde, I feel like. I feel like if you're not gonna make it, you just need to go. Right now, there's only 52 points between the teams, so if they can somehow keep this down and then get the rest of the bonus off coach, and that's exactly what just happened, that spit did a number on Brightness and Health Bones with a smoker pull going out in the front as well, so that's gonna be a, a doubling cap now due to the fact that Amy's already down, and I believe there's gonna be a recharge for the spitter soon, so this could be a wipe one. Yeah, if they wipe here, oh, it's so, it's such, it'll be a 50 point game. 60 point. Hey, look out. I believe that's going to be a stick going down, and that is going to indeed be... Oh, I thought it was going to be an in-cap on Rochelle. Hunter's going out, getting M2'd in the back, and you can't kick. That's, uh, that's, that's good. I mean, and x by is asking for some help from Zen. I don't know if x by is able to be helped at this point with the stage that he's at, but I mean... Unload the plugin. Okay. I, I, don't, I honestly don't know. Charter went in and managed to get another down there. Smoker's coming in from the back. This team is limping. And you can kick? Get up, get up, get up. Or can you unload the plugin one? Okay, okay. Uh, I don't know how to unload a plugin. So. Oh, it's experimental plugin. That's what this is. Breaking everything. Okay, I mean, that's not that's not too bad. I mean, if we just had, like, random people join the server at the same point in time, which technically isn't supposed to happen in the rules. He can't gag either. That's good. And, and, uh, okay. <laughs> or maybe you can, actually. That hunter gets it down in the back. These survivors are somehow still alive, by the way, Juan. I don't know how. Now we have a gagging fest going out here. That sounded immature, but, I mean, hey, guys. Okay, there we go. No, I went to try it. And who Dad, better than x I need some help! Hey, over here. I can can't do it too, gag that's cool. one of the players. There we go. Okay, so we can all gag on the server. That's good. We have a jockey going and getting another scratch. The survivors are on their very last legs. Hunter's going for claws. Missing the first two. <laughs> but managed to get it onto Ellis. And the spitter might be able to get the final in cap going in. No, 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 no. Right is still up. She has... 0 HP according to the spec hub, so there's that, and she's black and white, and somehow they're still alive, one. Damn, I hurt. Brightness is it. definitely the survivor MVP for their Thanks. team this round. Boomer's gonna troll that, though, getting a stumble off as the pop goes out, and this charger's just gonna wait. Like, he's gonna sit there, and now Brightness does go down to those common, unfortunately, but that is gonna be, uh, you know, they've been up for, like, what, the past, like, two minutes? And they've gotten a little bit more distance, but it's still going to be like, what, a uh, less than 100 point game, I believe, going into map 3. Yeah. Brightness is yeah. left. Apparently that's, uh, I don't think that's actually, stop, x by you're just, <laughs> x by is BM, spam. My gosh. Reminds me of, like, hub spams, or just, it's ridiculous and... 
doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like, why is it? Why is he? Why? 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 Like, I don't understand X Five. What is bad manners? Who is exhibiting bad manners? What behavior is making it bad manners? I don't know. I mean, there, there, there's, there's been a history of tournaments being, I don't know, rage quitting such being. But how? Why would you rage quit after you just carried your team for a chapter? Like, you know, zero health. As a ghost, picking up everybody else, just not dying. I, I, like, uh, if you're one of those people who rage quits when winning, like, I don't know what to say. I'm not even sure if that's been a thing. Oh, I'm sure it's been a thing. <laughs> you rage quit while... Okay, you rage quit Well, I mean, yeah, that's because you're constantly blaming Valve for, like, everything that's wrong in the universe, actually. Yeah. Like, I've, I've watched your stream. I have not. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Oh, dear goodness. We have a 15% tank right here. No grills allowed. Okay. I'm going to force start the server because XBy didn't do it. So we are not going to be going live. And we have two in the pink on the survivor and stats quad and special infected. We have a boomer spawning up right here, missing the arc boom. And I don't know. I don't have to make a... Okay. We have a boomer getting a single boom out onto coach. And the rest of the hit is going to be a... Spitter, a hunter, and I believe a jockey for the rest of that. So we'll see exactly what they decide to do here. But this is a pretty tough tank for the special infected one. Uh, yes, this is not the easiest of tanks, even though it seems pretty straightforward. If you get some Uzis, that oh, that that ramp is your worst nightmare as a tank. I think in the, like, classically, if Survivor's about Silence Duzi, it gets even, like, I don't know, 50% harder to go back there because of the slowdown and the damage. But the tank is in the hands of Horizon Stats Quo. Charger going down right there. Jockey's still bouncing around. Imagine you get a quick cap onto Nick, but an insta clear does go out. And it looks as though the tank is just going to try to play absolutely no chip at this point. And Juan, with the way they stacked that hit, they might be able to get the perfect tri cap for this with, like, the Charger, Hunter, and Jockey. But I've seen it work pretty well with the Smoker here, too, honestly. But that yeah, means that they might... I mean, there's always, the, it always seems to sometimes, once in a while, it'll just, it gives you the exception to the rule. That being said, they are going to dump both those SI, so that Boomer and that Smoker are going to go down. So they're going to try for the Boom Track Cap. Tank, not taking a whole lot of chips so far, just under 100. And this is one no of those tanks, yeah, yeah, I really like taking no chip on this tank. Like, you cannot afford it. But... He actually might have to be careful here because he's going to have to start rolling in before they know the rest of the spawn. It's going to be a jockey, and the last spawn is going to be a boomer. That's very unfortunate right here for Stas Quo. That boomer's going to have to go in and land after the tank gets into the safe room. Already down to about 3k HP. Rest of the hit is going in. Nice stumble and nice punch in that corner right there. Now the tank is going to get stumbled as well. Getting the down onto Ellis, at least trying to, but Ellis is actually floating on common, and the tank couldn't hit him. Getting a multi-punch now, getting another punch on the coach, and that's a pretty decent amount of damage to that tank, I'd say, Juan, about average. Um, yeah, I mean, I would have liked to, I, honestly, I think the tank could have gone after the green guys instead of the boom guys, and then, I, I, in some instances, yes, you want to go after the green guys, just get, or the boom guys and get whoever you can, but they were going to be so common lock that I think it would have been worth trying to get cornering the other two in that small room Reloading. I don't, and then and getting a spreading damage I don't know about any ink caps but at least spreading the damage to well, this is doing a good job of doing just that because that yeah. spitter and that jockey did a good way. And another 2 2 doing damage here. Like, this is something that we see, especially in these enclosed spaces, because you've got that boom spit potential to do a lot of work. No, yeah, they did really. They're making up work for that. And, that, and that's okay, too. With early tanks like that, you'll have to, you know, make up for it sometimes. Like, Dark Carnival, you know, that, that's too easy to kill that tank. Looks as though the hit tried to go in there without a spitter. We had that boomer going from the back with a charger in the front. Another SI getting shut down as well. That smoker actually getting a lot of damage out on it to Amy right there. So there are two sets of pills left. And if I remember correctly, in the most recent versions of Pro Mod, I think the maximum amount of pills you can get in the cabin up ahead is now two, if I'm not mistaken. 
I don't know, I haven't been keeping it. <laughs> I honestly, it, it changes relatively quickly, so I'm not entirely has. sure. It always has, I've never really cared. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm honestly not sure, I mean, just from exactly how the Sires are sitting right now, that would definitely do them a lot of service if they managed to get a full two sets there, but this Boomer's gonna go and get a nice double boom, Spitter Charger and a Hunter for the rest of the hit. Looks as though they want to come in from the back here, one, but they have to be careful because if they send the Chargers last, they're not gonna, they might not have it for the yeah. coaster choke. Second order is going to be really important here because you want that charge spit to the top. That was, I think, maybe what they were looking for because the hunter got taken out first, then the charger got killed, then the spitter. So it's not that the charger died last, but they don't have a good a chance of getting it, actually. Yeah, they're going to want to sack like a hunter and boomer. I, I do not like having boomer for this event. If you can get a three boom, great. But if you get a one boom... No, it's right. not good. It's here. basically a human pipe bomb. Oh, yep, exactly. And it turns into one of those then situations where the horde is just only going to be on one person, as you mentioned, and then the rest of the other three survivors can actually go and take the choke without being hoarded, which is a huge part of this choke due to the fact that the horde stops the survivors from just getting the instant clears that they need. Yeah, and they did that just Reloading. that. They got rid of the hunter and they got rid of the boomer. Reloading. So then, theoretically, if this game were to make sense and be consistent, they would get a charger and a spinner, right? If it were consistent, but <laughs> doesn't rule out the possibility that, yeah, Boomer shows Another Boomer. Up again. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Yeah, Logic climbed the chain link fence. That makes total sense. That's an exploit, and I would be quite upset if that were to happen. Jockey managed to land Charger, oh. though. Oh, she, they both went for the same target right there. Now the Smoker does get a ledge hang. Charger's going for punches down below. Actually doing a pretty good job over here. Nick has their pistol out, but the Charger almost actually gets the in cap. And that was bonus right there. The Smoker's going to try to go for a repill from the spot up there. That, again, looks like a little bit of miscommunication one due to the fact that the Jockey and the Charger went for the same person. Yeah, the charger, you, you have to really be really patient there, I, I feel it, because people are trying so hard to bait that charger, <laughs> it's too easy to, try, to get baited, I don't know. With that said, team two in the pink still have a lot of health bonus on Dot and a little bit on Brightness, and they obviously have survived the most treacherous part of this map, and the Coast of Choke, of course, is legendary for that first incline. Speaking of chargers, we have one going in right there, trying to lead in, missing the initial charge. Hunter bouncing around in the back, Smoker and a Spitter for the rest of the support here, but this charge is already down at 77 HP. Rest of the hit is coming in, though. Smoker trying to find something from the back, not able to land a whole lot of anything just yet, but walking its way closer. And this hit seems a little bit staggered here, Juan. A lot of the SI are just kind of bouncing around and waiting. Yeah, well, they did manage an in-cap, but Dot is carrying a lot of health buffs. Hunter managing to land. Yeah, that was that was a little bit of a single lag right there. Charter going in, missing. Uh, that would have been a great charge, but it missed, unfortunately. Yeah. I, I like what the Charger had in mind there, where was, what he was going for, but that was a smooth dodge, but hey, dodge there. Dot's done a great job preserving bonus so far. Mm -hmm. Smoker spawning up down below, trying to get that pull in the back again. Charger looks like he wants to intercept on that as well. And the Smoker Tongue actually breaks due to the fact that Nick jumped over that incline, I believe. Boomer and a Jockey for the rest of the hit here, and I think the Boomer's going to try to go now. Indeed, landing a nice single boom. I thought it was going to be a double, <laughs> a but this nice is a human pipe bomb. Single boom. Sorry, yeah. that was fun. What did I say? Yeah, nice. <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be a double, you were but then it turned... the double, I expected the double, and I had to say it's this thing, and then it wasn't as nice as it would have been. <laughs> no. But Reloading. Nick is really thirsty for that smoker kill right there, but he's not going to be able to get it. He's going for it. Now he gets oh, a nice wow. double charge, but still, again, Juan, we said it before, and we have to say it again now, because Dot still has not taken almost any damage from these hits. <laughs> No, she's doing a really good defensive job, but not not sagging her bonus. And if she can keep this bonus, it would be really helpful to her team. Look at the witch. The witch is just like, she was just chilling there for a second, and then she ran away. And now she's climbing back up this infinite loop. Another in-cap has gone out, and where is the witch? What is happening here, Juan? I'm confused. Where, the witch is going She's to the going back around now? the back, yeah. Oh, okay. Dead center all over again. I don't believe it's as bad as that. What is this? <laughs> She's climbing over one of the bars, jumping back off, now coming up to the back. Out of the survivors know where she is. Coming in, getting her down <laughs> onto Amy right there. Charger going in. Oh, there they got the charge. Yeah. 
wow, that was that was really, really weird. Like the pathing of that witch was just completely bonkers. I had no idea where she was going. Yeah, fuckery. I, I can do it. That's a white back here, as a matter of fact, because the witch came in from the back. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, and it's been on status quo for being able to uh, capitalize on that confusion that of the witch because that that was the reason they that they were standing around while taking so much damage getting in so many in caps there so. bringing back any memory coach you well that puts our score differential at 1252 to 626 so i mean there is a chance for team stats to make the comeback on this map but they have to deal with that early tank first they have the right weapons to do it but again that coaster show can be extremely treacherous and then also maintaining bonus through that in a game as close as this would be extremely impressive to see from them the survivor round yeah what i mean and it's not impossible it's it's pretty easy to um kill this tank uh, it's it's the event I feel like is the real damage sucker on this map. Like this early tank could be like the like um two in the pink. They they fought this tank fairly well. It was just the uh, everything else on the map that that hurt them. Yeah, and I mean besides that, the legendary coaster choke in that. And I guess in all of competitive Left 4 Dead 2, it's seen as one of the tougher chokes to mitigate due to the fact there is there are so many common, and unless some kind of single boom goes out for that pipe bomb effect, as you mentioned before, then you're going to have to deal with the horde plus a charger that's extremely hard to kill beforehand. But I've seen some teams try to go underneath and try to shoot up there, and I haven't seen that in a while, but it used to work pretty well, if I remember correctly. Only if they pre-spawn. Right, obviously. But then, like, in order to get them to spawn, you'll need to send up one, one teammate up there, and then you're creating quite a bit of separation. So, I, I mean, you'd see that in a lot of higher level play because they're a little bit more um, quick to react on, on the clears at a distance, you know what I mean? Because you really have to be very aware of where your teammates are and what kind of dangers and pitfalls there are to having exactly. them be so far out of reach, you know. With that being said, we will see exactly what Team Status Quo can do on these first couple hits as the Survivor team and see if they can shut them down and then take that tank as well as 2 in the Pink did. It's going to be a Boomer, a Hunter, a Spitter, and a Jockey for the first hit for Team 2 in the Pink. So again, small enclosed area right here. An, an okay amount of damage potential actually coming out. And one thing that I noticed earlier today is that if you put a Boomer in that closet over there, it's pretty hard to pop if you stand in the right place because it can't be walled. Spitter's going to spawn up though and actually send the Spit in to try to get some quick damage there. And I guess they want to try Cat with Boom instead, Juan. That's an interesting Call. They might be saving for tank. It's an intent. Try and get that charge forward while they're on their way back. That might be. Yeah. Might be what they're trying to go for. Reloading. I'm thinking too. It depends on who the tank is. I would have also sent them the boomerang, obviously. But instead, it looks as though stats quo are going to Reload. probably anticipate that that's what's happening, and they might actually have to stay out in this area before going back, unless they want to shut down a hit along the way. So, we'll see exactly what they decide to do, because the tank should be up relatively soon. I don't know. If the tank is the person who's the boomer right now, if they land a boom, then they have a tri-cap. That would be really, really, really deadly for the survivor team. Reloading. We shall see, though, because now the tank is going to be up into the hands of Vixen. Boomer going in. Knife shut down on that boomer by Astro Mail. We do have that jockey going in. Charger also missing, so this is exactly what... Team status quo needed on really that shutdown shut one. Down. Really good shutdown by team status quo. And I think they're going to work. Yeah, I thought they were going to go for ship originally, but that tank decided to back up in that area. And depending on how they sack, they actually might have a pretty good hit to roll with. But again, that's going to really determine. It's going to be determined by what the game gives them at this point. And they gave them a boomer, so. That's something else I noticed too. I think actually there is a spawn that you can try to get back there if one of the survivors with the Uzi isn't blocking it. You know what I mean? Like back near the safe room. Yeah, right. Like between where the survivors are right now. On that heart mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, like the one heart arch there. I guess you could jump up and down as the charger or something like that and try to get it, but I haven't seen it really work too well due to the fact the survivors either just dodge it or it gets instantly cleared. But that uh, being said. I think they're blocking it right now with yeah. the survivors up front. Yeah. That's exactly where you have to stand. But hey, they have the right. Tr they have the room tri cap that they won here. The tank is actually not losing rage because I think the survivor's in the safe room. 
Yeah. Oh, and the charger got spawned in between two. This is exactly what we were talking oh about, Ron. My... Yeah, that's exactly what the tank. Oh, he got cleared. The... Oh, this that's... is really this is unfortunate because now the tank has a split here. Hunter's going in, getting M2. This tank is throwing a rock right now, managing to land it. Another punch going out as well, but then the tank is going to be shut down. One. That was a great take by the survivors because they cleared that charger right away. I think. Like that could have been much more disastrous had that charge actually like gone all the way out, but then the charge stopped, got cleared, and the tank didn't capitalize. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. I. I don't. Uh, it was set up so perfectly. I'm not quite sure what happened. I think Reloading. she just got um, disoriented Reloading. on which target to focus on Reloading. because. Oh, yeah, because she she could have uh, gotten Ellis while he was on the getup, but she thought he was still capped by her support. Uh, so I feel really bad for that tank because those are the kinds of things nothing can that can, can't be communicated fast enough, you know. We do have Firestar taking it down here from that hit. That's fitting that yeah. boom combination. Again, another 2 2 situation in this alley. He's making up for the lost damage in the tank. Exactly what happened with the first team that went on Survivor as well. They, they didn't do very much damage at, while they were playing tank, but then they got the damage later on. This is another hit. It's gearing up to come in again. It is another 2 2. Smoker going in. Hunter going in as well. Nice shut down on the smoker. The hunter also gets M2 to shut down. Spit goes down. And that's gonna be a spit stumble to the survivor wow. in the spit. No, yeah, uh, they've been real. This is three damage. Three hits here. in, and they've already really significantly decreased that health bump. Heads up. Reloading! Reloading! Yeah, that was looking to be pretty bad for them after that tank, but they've obviously made up for it in those mm -hmm. three hits, and now they have a lot of other chokes to work with right here, including that vaunted coaster choke, and they're going to have a boomer charger, smoker, and a jockey for this hit right here. I think they might be able to maybe ditch for a spitter if they want to try to do that. I think that's what the boomer's trying to do. He's trying, to, She's trying to get that spawn between... Smoker's gonna go in the room right here, getting a pull. That is gonna be non-bonus, obviously. Jockey going for an air step right here. Now the Booper does manage to land. Jockey's still bouncing around. That's a full down on the Firestar, and the Survivors have to start pushing in, because this could be a death. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why they didn't help Firestar earlier. Huh. I think they might have thought there was a spit maybe waiting behind there somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. But obviously now they're going to have one survivor who is going to be black and white after those couple hits that we already saw. And at this point, it's going to be another pretty good hit, I think, coming up for Team 2 in the pink. It's going to be a Hunter or a Boomer, and I think they should get a Spitter on this one because they didn't have it last hit. And it's going to be a Smoker and a Spitter. So this can still do a lot of damage in these small areas, especially at the drop here. Oh, we almost have a Death Pole, but it's not going to land. It landed well, for a split second, and it just wasn't able to get the instant kill. Yeah, no, that was a really good try by the Smoker, by Vixen, but... And so now, a second to... look at where the survivors are. Like, if that spit spread, like, two more feet to the right, that would have been really disastrous. But the survivors managed to work their way out of it. And at this point, it's still going to be relatively close, Juan, because even if they make it to the coaster, then they're going to get, like, 350 points for this chapter. Yeah. I mean, they're only about four, five hundred. Four... Yeah, so 400 points. And that's nothing for fourth map either, so... This has been a really exciting game. It's not been one-sided at all, which is something I don't like to see. I like to see pair games like this. So. Exactly, and we have another hit coming in here. At least I think it was trying to. We have a nice charge going out onto the black and white survivor. Instantly cleared, but there is going to be Horde spit on him, and Firestar is going to be backed up into that corner. He is barely going to be able to get out of that, but he lost about 60 of his temporary health on that hit. So again, one, the amount of damage per hit is just being increased even by team mm -hmm. two in the pink so far yeah they're not uh status quo is they're not in good shape for this uh event one of the toughest events in the game they're not hopefully they get lots of pills but it looks like they just get one so again not very good good amount of separation too and now we've got that pull 
just barely getting cleared, and all the survivors except for one are going to be slow. They do have one survivor with a melee who's black and white. And you know what else what, that I thought was sexy? It's, it's that situation where if you send the black and white survivor up top, they don't get instant killed if they get charged. Yeah. Yeah, I use that strike quite a bit. Reloading here. If somebody's black and white, Reloading. I like to send that person up first, and I'll voluntarily do it myself <laughs> if I'm black and white. Be like I'm going. Normally, I like to wait down there, Reloading. clear the guy that goes up. On Paragon, we have a curse on us because whenever Adam moves up the coaster, we automatically die. So we have to have him be the one staying at the bottom, no if he's temporary health or not. Because we wiped like 15 times in a row with him going up <laughs> for whatever reason. We do have a nice hunter landing up there, and the jockey can be getting some charger going in. Gets a nice double charge. That's gonna be two in caps going out, and Firestar this again. Is, this is it. Yeah, this is it. it. If I yeah, I was all said run, 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 run as fast as your gimpy legs will take. <laughs> like this is the being slow and black and white. Split delay goes down in front as well. There is a hunter in the spawn key right here. Spitter also getting a scratch. Ellis is actually stuck in the common, and that is going to be the death. But again, still pretty close. 152 to 984 going into map four. I really like the good sportsmanship between these two teams. They they say in good round every round. If I could type right now, he'd probably be saying that's BM. There we go. Yeah, x is whispering BM to the two casters here due to the fact that technically they are MM1-ing, but they're saying nice things when they MM1, so I don't know exactly if that's still BM or not. But... And we have the famous barn tank here from Map 4. Juan, I cannot tell you how many times I've seen this tank, and it's too many to count. Yeah. I like the... the... Um, bumper car tank. That is always fun or interesting. So much fun. Yeah, in my opinion, it's a lot more versatile because with the barn tank, I've honestly only seen it attempt to have been played as a rock tank a couple times, and it doesn't usually go the way the infected wanted to go. But as you nope. just mentioned, with the versatility of the bumper car tank, I love that. This one's more just like the barn tank is just going and punch if you can. Yeah, I prefer an early tank here. It's much more interesting. It's it's got it's much more dynamic, like you said, and yeah, it's much, the barn tank is much more linear. There's only one way to play it, unless you know the survivors are have passed the barns. Then it's a little bit more, yeah, you know, of a nail biter just because of all the hittable. But doesn't necessarily mean that it's guaranteed wipe for tank either. Because of all the obstacles there as well. Basically, barn tank is the least interesting tank for fourth map. Yeah, I mean, and the thing is, I personally on map three, my favorite tank, maybe in all of Left 4 Dead 2, is the one that spawns at like 48% or later, where you fight it outside of the Tunnel of Love for the coaster. That's that's my favorite, probably, in like mostly all of Left 4 Dead 2. Because yeah, of the versatility of it. Yeah. I do believe the pause that we have is related to Amy not being able to speak and mumble. So after that is resolved, we should be going live right again. And again, less than 300 points separating these two teams. Fourth map and fifth map are both played in this tournament. So we will see exactly what they decide to do for these next couple of chapters. And this is this this could be a swing map one. Like you don't hear about it as much in Dark Carnival as you do on like Hard Rain, but there can be a lot of score potential for one team if they get like a wipe and then they manage to make safe room on this map. Oh, yeah. And the other... How about them, Drews? I don't know, I spy. L from L.A.? Do you mean Brooklyn? Because they're in L.A. now. It's true. They were from Brooklyn. If you were trying to be funny, you would have said them Brooklyn Dodgers. Brooklyn Dodgers. But they're actually in L.A. now. Are you a fan of x -Bi's attempts at humor one? No, he... These attempts are quite pitiful at times. <laughs> it's oh, hard man. to engage humor with humans when you're a robot, right? <laughs> His viewers enjoy it, apparently, so... I mean, hey! Fellow robots, indeed, yeah. I mean, apparently 
a couple of viewers had their wallet stolen by one of your Twitch moderator bots earlier, and they're also saying sack because they have someone AFK, and we have another pause going. As a matter of fact, what are you doing? I think two in the pink are having a moment right now. One, I don't know exactly what they're doing. But they are getting everybody back on their team. And hey, okay, we can now actually go live, and maybe this will actually be the first hit. It's going to be a charger, jockey, boomer, and a smoker. So separation potential here. That one survivor was not moving for a second, and this is... Again, so sometimes playing competitive Left 4 Dead 2, things can get a little... Things can get a little odd. Boomer going in because the survivors haven't stopped us yet. Maybe that was just a fantastic bait. Charger missing the spawn, Jockey going in, and Jockey actually manages to land, Charger going in, managing to land a charge on the coach as well, but again, just chip damage so far from that first hit. No, oh, yeah, that, that was very minimal damage. Oh, no. um, pretty good diff uh, shutdown by two in the pink. Again, I think the SI were a little bit hesitant there due to the fact that Rochelle was AFK for a second before coming out of that safe room, but besides that, I mean... Yeah, yeah. Clears that went out, we're good. <laughs> yeah, it, it will, because if you think someone's AFK, you don't want to have the bad matters, ironically enough, of going in and hitting when someone is AFK. This Hunter's bouncing around, looking for some kind of DP. Jockey, Smoker, and a Boomer for the rest of the hit. Yes, X-Fi, don't, don't alert the media yet, but it looks as though the survivors are doing a good job of spreading out and moving away from that boom. Still a double boom does land from that spot. Hunter going in, almost laying a DP as well. Nice two cap landing with that Hunter and that jockey. And that right there is the kind of thing that Team Staff's Co needs to use one if they want to try to get back into this. Yeah, that's separation. Gotta reload. Jockey did a lot of damage. Really good hit by uh, status quo. Oh, okay, I, cannot read. I keep reading it as squid. I want to say squid. <laughs> Quod. Whoa. See, I didn't even put the two and two together of it being like squad or something similar to squad, but then it's like S Q O dash D, so it's like it's not even like I can't even read it the way that you usually would. But if we do Squoed. have a hit coming. <laughs> yes, yeah, squad. We'll go squad. Nice boomer pop. The charger going and matching actually to land, and then look at that hunter almost getting the intercept at the same point in time. But I think actually it connected with the hitbox of the charred survivor, so that was a little bit odd. But besides that, this is pretty good pre-tank ship for the barn tank here. And how do you usually see wipes playing out in this room, one? Because they are few and far between, but when they happen, I think the survivors have to make a little bit of a mistake. Yeah, you need a tri-cap, and it can't have a smoker. So that just leaves the joggy hunter charger. I mean, boomer can work, but that's if tank is an efficient tank. And by efficient, I mean gets his hits, gets them quick, gets the end cap first down. You know what I mean? Oh, three but oh. Well, this could definitely be it, depending get if that can get in. Smoker, though. Yeah. Get rid of it. No. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't, I'm not exactly sure why they are saving the smoker at this point. Due to the fact that you just mentioned, like, this tribe would have been great. Maybe he's doing something, I don't know, he's trying to get some kind of pull out. He died he, uh, in time, though. He's not getting, well, I mean, he would have, I would have died as soon as possible because that he had a good horde there i would have liked to have taken advantage of it but now you gotta wait for the smoker to come back and but it's all declared now so basically yeah. tank's gotta get a name cap focus on one guy get him corn send the support in hopefully they get him all down uh try not to throw rocks go yeah, I think he was trying to jump rock in the middle of them there. Obviously not working. Already down to about 1,200 HP. Throwing another rock, as a matter of fact. There we go. Nice single jockey landing right there. Now the charter is going to miss, and we're going to have the hunter gang actually melee skeeted by Not Bright. And that is going to be another punching up, but that was yeah. similar to the shutdowns we usually see there once. Unfortunately for Tank, the only target he was able to catch was the uh, non-health bonus. I was like, oh, he got one, but she was bleeding, so I, I don't know. She had popped pills. I don't know how much HP she might have had, but... Yeah. The wish is right there. Rochelle jumps down and manages to get the crown, and now we have that spick going down on nothing in the back. Charter managing to land onto Rochelle, who is the non-health bonus, but this is probably the best survivor round from either team we've seen so far, Juan, due to the amount of bonus that's still left on two in the tank. Yeah. We might. Oh. I, I mean, it's not hard to get good bonus on this map either. Like, once you get past tank, I mean, as long as, you know, 
You last this, what, 30 seconds here? And then it's another hit or two Reloading. to the safe room. So. These hits here, though, can do a lot of damage. And we have a Hunter, a Spitter, a Charger, and a Jockey going in. Hunter bouncing around, trying to land on one of the survivors who are bonus. Imagine to land on two coach in the background there. Spit going down, not on a whole lot of anything. Now, it's going to be an in-cap on the Brightness. He was bonus. And that Jockey also lands on the dot. He is bonus. So that, that right there showcases that how... Good yeah, a good amount of damage we got in that area. Yeah, no, I mean, those, I think they could have cleared them a little bit better a little bit faster they weren't that separated so but maybe they were hoarded you know this is another pretty good hit for them to follow up on that with it's going to be a charger a smoker a spitter and the last spawn is going to be a jockey so the smoker's going to try coming from the back here again they're trying to target the health bonus which they're trying to actually keep in the center it looks like we're gonna have the jockey coming from the side smoker already spawning going up getting the pull on and making a nice double charge going out as a matter of fact as well with a stick going down on top of that however those are the two non-bonus these are going to be rather slow that's gonna be a full in-cap on the rochelle lots of damage one but on the targets that had already been in cap yeah but i think this is this still bodes really well for status quo because um like they need to that horde is endless they need to get in there and shut that door and stop that horde and nobody's done that so they're gonna keep getting hoarded and more hits and they need to go in and get in that safe room right away Indeed, well they Nick do. still have the six feet yeah i mean that's gonna be a pull going out it's gonna be instantly clear the spitter is trying to get an angle here throwing the spit down in front of the survivors as a matter of fact Good amount of spit spread going out, and that's going to be a hunter landing as well. Quickly scared, but as you mentioned, Nick still does have a good amount of health bonus right here. There should be a couple other spawns being thrown in right here. Nice insta pull going out on the Vixen, as a matter of fact. M2 is going out, and that is going to be... It looks like the safe room for the survivors here. The Charger going in, getting a stumble the down, kill. actually kill. <laughs> that's, that's all you could ask for from that charge at the end. Yeah. No, yeah, that was a really good fight by status quo. <laughs> Gore Delta though opening up to just about 1,000 points here. This is obviously the largest spread that we've seen throughout the game. But again, I mean, hey, Sasquatch can make the comeback if they manage to shut down that barn tank. But I think I think you mentioned it in like map two or something like that. It seems as though both teams have had a little bit of an issue trying to mitigate the damage from the hits that are either before or after the tank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there there there's a bit of trouble maintaining the health bonus that they're able to keep after tank or you know. Or problems keeping it before they get to tank, which is definitely not helpful when you're trying to make it to the safe room with health bonus. So. For lots of points. Just keeping this this game pretty within reach for status quo as well. Yeah, because I mean, in certain, either in scrims or in matches, I've seen multi, like, I don't know, teams scoring in excess of a thousand points on this map alone. Due to the mm -hmm. fact that those hits, it's easy it's easy to kill a hit and then just make it through the map here without a whole lot of resistance. Yeah, it's true, because, yeah, like, that's an easy tank to kill, and is I mean, if you do the ending right, you can make it there with lots of bonus. It's happened many times. Map 4 is much... This, yeah... This will make make or break more games than map two or three. But then I don't really know how map I feel one about never this. makes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's yeah. We mentioned that before, where it's just like you can have like even like a 900 point spread, and then you'll be able to make it up. But I don't really know how I feel about the finale as a comeback map, you know? Because getting that early wipe is one thing, but like making it to the end with bonus is quite a challenge most of the time. Yeah, I mean, most of the time it seems like you have to wipe, um, like with first tank and to win. Unless you, it's within 100 points, otherwise it's usually... And I think that's why a lot of people probably don't play the finale anymore. <laughs> because unless it's within 200 points, it may not make a difference. Yeah, and I think that was another argument that was used when the European... Like in the European community and other multinational communities are like... Their reasons for not playing finales in general because they didn't feel like it really went along with the like flow of the game or whatever that is but here in north america we try to play the finale Reloading. due to the fact that obviously it's included in the campaign but also i mean hey there has i've seen miracles occur on that finale too where you have like one team get a wipe of the first tank and then you score like 800 points by making chopper and those are always fun to see 
but they are a few and far between. We do have stats goal coming out of the station right now. We have the hit coming in from Team 2 in the pink. Nice 2-cap landing. Jockey is going to land with that smoker, and the charter is going to get a couple of punches with a 2-boom. So that could have been worse one, but again, some chip damage coming out. And also, they're taking residual horde damage at the same point in time, so while well, I think that was chip damage, it's actually being spread out really, really well along the survivors just from that residual boom plus the damage the other SI pinners did. And it's like, like, like that kind of boom will slow the survivors down, which gives the infected team a chance to go a little bit sooner. Should actually have it for here. It's gonna be a hunter, a jockey, a charter, and a spitter for the infected hit. And this is a lot of damage potential because you can get rocket spawns off that roof. You can have the charter come around the corner, which I think is what they're actually looking to do. Jockey is spawned up in the top right there. Charter spawning up as well. Jockey leading in. Charter's gonna go out there, blindsiding Rochelle, getting the full charge to the end right there with a spit down on top of it. And that right there, Juan, was a good example of the hunter and the jockey being a nice distraction for that charger. Mm. I mean, at this point, though, they're going to have to really ace that tank to have a chance of making that kind of bonus we were talking about before. Yeah. Reloading. Through this building. It's not impossible. They just Reloading. have to play tight for the rest of the map. And I think Reloading. they could do... Aki going in on the front right there. M2 going out. That's going to be a shutdown. Nice double charge landing. Quick clear though coming out from Reloading. Nick. Boomer unfortunately not able to land. Reloading. And right there, they are going to also get the pop on that Boomer. So that's exactly what they need to do. Which has also been drawn as a matter of fact. Drawing her over the fence. Nice crown right there. Forcing the witch to climb in that situation without glitching her out. So again, that's 20 more points that they're going right here. And they still have that tank to shut down. They are going to get Silent Susie's and Chrome right here. And that, I don't know why. Whenever I'm playing this tank, I hate to see Silent Susie's. Because it's just the slowdown is brutal. Uh, I don't really notice the difference between Uzi slowdowns when I'm tank. Yeah, I, mean, I notice you have three it more of them between your 60 and 100 tech. Yeah. That's when I really notice it. It's double cap landing right here. That hunter and that spit going down. Charger also managing to land right there after they've gone bot. And the tank is up in the hands of Amy. 14-2 in the pink. And the tech is going to commit from the back here. Yeah, they... That... Hunt spit caught that was a lot of damage on Alice. So if I were tank, I mean really I mean three punches on coach, two or three punches on Nick, a couple punches on Rochelle or Alice and I don't know, if the the tank has you know be smart about it, it can really make things hard for uh Status quo. It's going to be going in right now, trying to get that initial corner, already down to about 3,000 HP. Imagine oh. you get it onto Syracuse. That is almost an in-cap going out. The SI support is going in as well. Melee on the tank's back right there. Nice double cap landing. Charger hasn't yet gone in. We do have that separation cap going out onto Ellis, thanks to that hunter. Charger also landing. Tank still has about 500 HP. Is now going to get brought down after landing that rock. And apparently we have a glitch where the gun was oh, dropped. Oh, that's happened to me before. That's so stupid. Well, this is one of those situations where we have to... Who's that guy that designs ProMod 1? I'm thinking about him. He's from Xbox. Yeah, I think we should vote him out like we did my Prime Minister on Monday. <laughs> uh, out of... Is it a thing? Was he ever elected, though? Who, Jacob? No. Yeah, right, that's what I mean. So, like, if, if votes didn't get him there, how would votes get him out? Hmm. Sure. It's oh, no, a dictatorship. I, I... You figured it out, right? <laughs> I figured it out? Okay, yeah. I mean, it, it obviously is a dictatorship in that sense, but Dark, it says they're removing that plug-in next patch. I think that's a good idea, and... Now, we have the smoker going in for a pull in the back. An okay amount of separation going out as well. The only health bonus is left on Coach. Charger missing a charge down there on to Rochelle. Juan, please don't feed into my conspiracy theories. We all know that, like, you know, <laughs> it's it secretly it's an underground dictatorship that's run by uh, people out of their basements. I don't know. Jacob, he's, he's like Castro. 
In fact, that's his last name, Jacob Castro. <laughs> oh my gosh, just because, just because in Promod he has the brilliant idea to instead of having the survivors not able to swing in between punches to drop the gun or to switch to the primary instead. But we do have that jockey getting the cap on a Rochelle. Hunter landing a separation cap as well. But again, most of the bonus, actually all the bonus I should say, is on coach, and they've done a pretty good job protecting him so far. Yeah, but the, the hardest part is still ahead of them. Yeah, they need to I be mean, fast, and they, they Nick's not fast. I think one survivor, even out of the four, uh, slow here, is definitely going to bring a certain amount of challenge to it. Coach moving out right there. Nick oh, actually plowing through that spit. Charger actually chest bumping again. Another another thing we can talk to Jacob about. We have a jockey going out onto Firestar right there. Is getting cleared, and all the horde is on the down guy right here. So they could be making tracks right now, Juan. But there is going to be a spit to delay them instead. I don't know. See, it feels to me with the amount of things that have attempted to been fixed, and then you know stuff that doesn't work. It just seems to like it seems to like grow and shrink exponentially. It's, it's like a Schrodinger's cat of Pro Mod almost. <laughs> Boomer getting popped so right there. So if we watch them, yes, they're alive. <laughs> if we don't, they're dead. Yeah, exactly. Pre pretty much. And nice charge going out. That's actually a triple bowling charge right there. That's gonna pretty much be the end of the round. 14 stats, but in fact, they are common locks. Coach is trying his best. Sir Kuzum also pushed through that, but now is going to die from the spitter. And the smoker is going to get the full on the coach, and that is going to be the white. But still fairly close though going into the finale. It's going to be 1968 to 1594. See, I, I'm, I hesitate to agree with you because I feel like that's a large difference to overcome for the finale. Because I, although yes, the Americans we do play the the finale. Blah 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 blah. The, the Europeans do kind of have a point. Like at some point. As long, like, basically, status quo has to wipe them in the first map. The first tank. If they don't do that, I don't know if it's possible for them. Yeah, and I mean... They'd have to, like, survive quite a bit, too. They'd have to make it to second tank as well. So it's not even just, like, they have to wipe them and then make it halfway through the finale. Exactly, and I mean... This first tank can go so many ways for either survivors or the special infected. Like the wipes, though, that I see coming out is that booms in this area really do a whole lot of damage. You the fact that it's such an enclosed space, usually the tanks in the middle of the survivors and they can't really focus the horde. And plus, with the other pinners coming in, that kind of stuff, they can just be absolute pandemonium depending on what the survivors do. But the other, the inverse I don't know. of that is. Tune to Pink uh, took the horde and the tank really well in map two. So. I mean, yeah, Boomer could be really deadly here, but I don't think it'll... I mean, I think these teams are good enough to overcome that kind of challenge. We shall indeed see, depending on what happens with this first hit, we are going to have Team 2 in the pink defending their just under 400 point lead on the Survivor. Shoot things is what x is saying. Boomer's going to up there, gets a nice double boom. Smoker and Charger are also working their way in with a jockey. Charger's going to try to lead in and does miss. Single punch going out. Nice jockey going out, but then an instant M2 from Nick. And now we have that Smoker just kind of standing and not really doing a whole lot anymore due to the fact that this tank is going to be up. And there also is a Witch up here, Juan. As a matter of fact, the survivors are trying to engage the witch, I'm pretty sure. Smoker is going to get the tongue cleared, tanks up in the hands of Horizon, and the survivors actually decide to run back. And you know what I hate here is when, if when you're shooting the tank and trying to get chip, you accidentally shoot the witch. Yeah. That's, that's a, a hazard, but I, I, I don't see too many people shoot at the witch unless it... I think the tank is trying to bait know. them into that because he's like he, he he's dancing in front of the witch. If the Uzis were like gonna try to shoot him, and, uh, you know what? They shot the hunter next to the witch, Juan, but they didn't shoot the actual witch. So close. Yeah, some kind of odd mating dance here. It's a jockey, a charger, and a hunter, so you have the quote-unquote room tri cap here for the tank as he plows his way in, three Uzis into his face, pushing the survivors back. 
Not yet having actually thrown a punch. Is now gonna split them up. Charger getting a nice double charge going out. Rest of the hit is coming in. We're gonna have that punch. Nice two cap landing is oh, yeah, back. This could be huge. Tank is gonna keep punching Rochelle right there, but he actually punched Rochelle back towards the survivors, and the hunter also got shut down. Lots of damage going out right now, however, and the tank's gonna push the two survivors who are in the safe room. I think they've noticed that the tank is here. Tank's gonna jump in. Maddie's gonna get a punch onto Alice. He is gonna die, but a great amount of damage going out. Yeah, that was a really good tank by Horizon. But let's get you up. Unfortunately. And, and the support was really good too. It just this bitch. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the survivors cleared it, but maybe which is their chance? Oh, oh, the Uzi shot. Yeah. That's an interesting call there, due to the fact that I think the shotgun was a little bit preoccupied with getting hit by special infected as that was going on. Nice double cap going out as well, and you were right, Juan. Even more damage coming out here. They're gonna have everybody besides Dot bleeding after that tank and witch. Yeah, no, yeah, and that's really, really good for status quo, but they really have to, like, wipe them soon. I mean, it's just, it's really good, but it might not be good enough. They, hopefully, I mean, what they need to do is try and wipe them before they start the event, because that's when their points are really... Well, no, I guess their points are going up really fast right now. They go up less fast, because they do start it. Good charge going out right there. There is an amount of horde as well with that spit. Completely missing. Smoker got a little bit of a pull, but then is also going to get cleared. A little bit of damage on the coach, who is the only health bonus. But again, the pills that they've got right now, they've got three in their hands. Just one more committed, and there is one more on the stage. So they do not have a whole lot of pills left. And like you said, though, the problem right now is that they're still getting distance points for everything that they do. Yeah. And that's just setting the bar higher and higher for status quo. Looks as though the next hit's gonna be one of those two twos as well. It's gonna be a jockey, a hunter, a spitter, and a boomer going in. We have the hunter getting shot a lot and completely shut down. Spitter is kind of out of the way. Boomer spawns up there. Actually managing to get a single boom instead of missing it, which I thought he was going to at first. And the spit's gonna go down on a whole lot of nothing. And I think the infected are sacking in the wrong order here, one, because now they're gonna get another two two, I think. Two twos are not very good for this area. No. It's really hard to get a boom. And a spitter. And the survivors all in that small s space for a boomer but That's your fault. Okay, X Pi. You know what? Times like these I miss the uh the limit on how many pauses you could have. Remember that? Wasn't it like ten? X Pi remembers. It was three, okay. And then Jacob made them unlimited. And then it got... <laughs> then, then it went from like... An hour and a half to like two hour game. Yeah, especially on Dark Carnival, because on some of the other maps where it's like... In a game like this, it's been so close and so competitive as well. But on some of the other ones where it's like... It feels even longer. Like Swamp Fever, I remember. I once had a game that was like two hours on a four map campaign. And I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. And it was just... It was one of those things where there was a pause like every two seconds, which, as we've just mentioned, is legal now. So we have this hit coming in, Jockey bouncing around it at the bottom, Charger going for a long charge, not managing to land. Smoker's going to get a, no smoker, actually. Boomer getting a double boom. I, I did not see where a smoker was on that hit. Boomer gets a try boom off the proxy with a hunter landing for a little tick of damage. But again, it seems as though Dot's been carrying bonus a lot this game. No, yeah, Dot has been uh, what I like to call a workhorse on, on this team just been getting tons of uh, keeping tons of health bonus Reloaded. keeping the team alive like a lot often time she was like you know the last one last man stand or last woman standing as it were next hit is coming in charger man again nice long charge that's a oh, nice, nice two cap ca what the hell that charger <laughs> went bot as actually didn't even go bot what was that i think the charger might have lagged or something because it I got that it got that punt on Rochelle, who actually is getting jockeyed off and ledge hung. The tank is up in the hands of Astro Molly, and tank's throwing a curve rock, missing it right here, but he's got the survivors in a pretty bad position, one, because they have that ledge hang going out. Yeah. I mean... 
this might be their chance if they can make it to uh, the helicopter with bonus. They uh, oh, but tank is getting shredded. Wow. Yeah, and you mentioned Uzi slowdown. He's dead. That that was just three Uzis won. That was all that was. Yeah. That was ridiculous. And the other thing I've been told by they're trying to kill her. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're trying to at least get the kill over there. It's not going to work. Not though. I think working, she's like 50%. Though. Yeah. yeah. Help me! They need to get her up before they get a turn. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. The tank went in. I guess he thought that since it was 3v4, he was going to be able to push them back. Mm -hmm. But that's instead, that slowed down. Before. Like, you think, oh, well, they're Reloading. one down, right? Reloading. Of course I'm going to commit. Just because, you know, they've got Reloading. one survivor down doesn't mean that it's a good time to commit. Reloading. He should have... He should have babysat that in cap. He had an in cap. He should have just waited until she died and then committed. Till that that kill was guaranteed. He could have just kept getting LOS on her. You know? Right. Beautiful amounts of damage going out right now, but I think this actually might be the wipe because the entire health bonus on Dot is now gone. Charger and Spitter ganged up on a black and white survivor in the corner. The only one left up actually is not bright right here. Getting M2 on that jockey. Now backing up, joking, saying defib someone, and that is actually going to be the wipe here, so it's getting to the point, though, where it's definitely into that improbable range due to the fact that it's going to be just around 900 points, as a matter of fact, and for this finale, that is a pretty tall order, I think we both can say. Yeah. Hey, making the top worth bonus is possible. I've seen it happen before. I don't know. They need... Well, I mean, if they make it and have a little bit of bonus, they might make it. They might do it, because it's 800 distance points. So, as long as they have that 77 HB, or 70, or 81, or whatever, 80 HP, if they have 80 HP, they could they can win. Not by much. Would be like one of the closest scores of the it. tournament. Yeah. They'd have to make it, and they'd have to have minimum like 80 HP or something. I'm thinking as well, the real determinant of whether or not they're going to be able to make it is how much damage they take at this first tank. Because mm -hmm. with the way with the way the finale is structured, it really depends. Like, if they take any more than two downs, I think that's the general rule of thumb in this area. And... It, that that's a tall order to do with the kind of like with the way the game's gone so far plus with the like spawn potential with everything else we talked about in this area it, it's gonna be a task but they can definitely pull it off we have a smoker charge going out right there as a matter of fact good quick clear another clear on that jockey's a little bit later but still could have gone worse maybe some kind of multi-cap or something now we have to make sure that fire star does not fail this witch he's gonna go for it right now he's separated from his teammates he is gonna get a nice run crown and amy is gonna have the tank for team two in the pink and it looks as though she's gonna try to just get a little bit of sight here, but Alice is actually gonna go for some chip. One thing that I see happening here from all tiers of play, the thing is, if the survivors play it too far forward, they can get really, really screwed up by SI support coming in from the back. Yeah, it's not a good... I don't like playing up ahead. I mean, it can work, but you usually feel lucky if it does work. <laughs> Tank is committing right here, oh, getting the instant corner. corner. Yeah, that is going to be a full in cap. One more on to Ellis, and that's going to be it. They're out, now it's 3v4. They're just yeah, getting a pull support. right there. Getting clear. Tank's now pushing, getting another punch on the coach. The charge is going to get that separation right there. Tank missing a punch on the coach. Here are the two downs that we talked about before, though. Rock going in, almost three at the moment. That charger is still just going out. Coach is going to pop his pills. Another punch going out, and I do believe... This is going to be extremely tough for Team Stats Quo to make it to the end due to the fact that they've taken this much damage. And this isn't even close to over yet. Tank has a survivor separate, and they also have a boomer in the spawn queue one. This could still be a wipe, potentially. Rock missing. Boomer's looking for an arc. Not finding a whole lot yet, though, and he's in a little bit of an awkward position now. Rock going in, managing to land onto one of the survivors. This has been a great tank so far by Team 2 in the pink. Mm -hmm. Reloading! Reloading! 
And she's still first pass, so she can rock. I've I've rock tanked this before. It's pretty fun. Oh, she needs to curve him more to the. Girl, you oh, keep trying to curve him for. Oh, there you go. There. She, oh no, that was a something, some other ding. Oh, you're punny, X5. Real punny. <laughs> you pick up ladies with those puns. Oh goodness. Yeah, of course. Of course. I don't know. I mean, the survivors now, they have four sets of pills on the stage. The tank is getting out and still playing Rock Tank. Ask them, they, they come here often, apparently. I don't know. X by. You guys are talking about stuff that's not directly related to the game. What a rock! That was a really good rock. Hey, you said Rock Tank, and this, this, this counts. Oh, this rock tank is so much fun. I can't believe the shit out here. <laughs> oh, this rock! Wow, that was so close to hitting Ellis right there. He's actually still common lock, as a matter of fact. Tank's doing a rocket, man! Did he get the in-cap? Wow, this is now turning into a long-distance 345 HP tank! Another rock landing on her for a show! Juan, what is happening? Uh, status quo Reloading. is maintaining the status quo. Okay, I can I can see that they are actually splitting up a little bit here. Charter man in the land, Rock almost landing on a coach. Really good separation caps going out right here though, with that jockey landing plus that charger. Jockey bringing the survivors closer. We actually can see two tanks here. I kind of want to see two tanks. That would be a good way. Another rock landing. This is ridiculous. Like this rock tank is just doing all kinds of work. <laughs> almost landing another rock on a Rochelle and one. The tank has 296 health. Yeah. Another oh rock my God. No, yeah, what? like again, this is like map two all over again. They, they should not be <laughs> giving this tank so much damage. I feel That's like status quo really needs to work on LOSing. And yeah. This rock tank has been absolutely ridiculous, just the amount of work. And honestly, that's gonna probably bring up the GG's because the fact the only survivor left up mm -hmm. is Horizon. He GG. is hoarded. And I think the tank's gonna go in there, wanting to claim it. Is finally going to get maybe brought down, maybe not. Not actually going to. Gonna get in cap with 50 some HP left. What a game we saw there, Juan. 2477 to 1890 in favor of Team 2 in the pink. But still, that was a great game. That was a really good game. Congratulations to two in the pink, and really good fight and really good effort by uh, Status Quo. I really enjoyed watching Status Quo. I've never seen them play before, but they are really. I really look forward to seeing more from them. Indeed, and hopefully we will see both those teams later in the. Oh, and what actually I can say, whatever tournament is going to be coming up next, I have no idea exactly what that is going to be, but I'm sure you'll announce it when it comes out. <laughs> I don't know if I will, but I've heard rumors that Kiss Me wants to run a tournament of some kind. He had a hashtag in his name for a while, which I think would be really interesting. So I will see exactly how that goes. But besides that, thank you, everybody, for tuning into this cast, even though it is getting a little bit late on the Eastern Coast. But I know x definitely appreciates it. Thank you for casting tonight, Juan. Thank you for having me. So with that being said, we have a nice slate of games that will be on WatchLeftRed.com and either XBuy or Kiss Me Streams as of tomorrow, or even even other streamers if they want to get involved on the action. Anybody who's interested in streaming RBT3 games, please contact me. I know we had a couple, I know Ninja did a couple games earlier in the tournament, Team Paragon did a couple games earlier in the tournament, and of course Arma King did a stream of his own. So thank you for everybody tuning into all of those various streams, XBuy for streaming this game, and obviously for doing the coverage that you have done so far. It's going to be a good slate of games tomorrow, and then after that, we will be moving into the elimination bracket. So, besides that, we will see exactly how these final matches play out. And if anybody wants to check out any other community Left 4 Dead news, please feel free to go over to leftfordeadnation.com and also keep in touch with all the competitive Left 4 Dead streams off the hub. Any final thoughts there, Juan? I just want to wish good luck to all the remaining contestants, candidates, and players. Good luck. On the right. elimination rounds and stuff such i don't know what's going on basically if you're still in it good luck that's what i say i can completely agree with that we will see we'll see how the bracket shapes up too 
at the conclusion of this weekend. But with that being said, it is quite late. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Have a wonderful rest of your evening if you decide to stay up. Or we will see you tomorrow for the rest of these games. Thank you very much and have a great night.